Hi, I'm Linda from Barlady's Body Blitz. Welcome to Bounce Total Body Cardio Band. For today's workout, all you will need is a mini trampoline or rebounder and a Pilates band. This is one without the handles and it's a medium tension band, but if you only have an exercise tubing with handles, you can use that for most part as well. If you do not have a mini trampoline, you can still do this entire workout on the floor. Just make sure you wear appropriate footwear. I like to be barefoot on my trampoline, but it's completely up to you. If you have any joint issues or weak feet or ankles, then definitely wear some footwear. Okay, we're gonna get straight into it. We're just gonna hold on to the band for the cardio segments. So what I want you to do is scrunch up the ends and just keep a little bit of resistance. And we're just gonna start by bringing our arms up and down and just prancing in place. So the great thing about this band is that you can keep tension about on it the entire time, which means that you're engaging your arms and shoulders. Go side to side. I want you to keep your tummy pulled in, your shoulders are down and back, and you're trying to keep your knees soft for most of these exercises, unless I tell you otherwise. And you're trying to make sure that as you come down, you're really softening those knees and absorbing all of that pressure. Use the entire width of your trampoline here, up and down with those arms. A few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna come down and down, down and down. So you're sticking your butt out to the side and you're bringing your elbows down. Just keeping everything really nice and light. Down and down. Trying to warm up through the waistline. Bringing that elbow down towards your hip and really exaggerating that, sticking that hip out. Side to side, side to side. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now just twist and bring your arms in front and just rotate side to side. Keeping your feet a little bit closer together now and really twisting through the waistline, keeping your arms at chest height, feeling that whole body warming up. You can jump as high or as low as you like throughout this entire workout. So that's the beauty of this trampoline. Make it your own. Keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. So just bounce in the middle again. We're gonna do some more deliberate moves now and start to build a few combinations. So what I want you to do is bring your arms up and we're gonna start doing jumping jacks and with our arms up and down. Now I actually want you to pull out a little bit on that band at the top and at the bottom. Now once you get this motion, think about bending into the knees and think about putting pressure down, down, down. Your feet are slightly turned out here and you're using the entire width of that trampoline. I want you to think about putting the weight in your heels on the down and slightly hinging at the waist so your glutes are going towards the back. Push down your shoulders in opposition, so don't ever hunch your shoulders. And keep going here, pulling out at the top and the bottom for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna double and double, double and double. So pull out, pull out. Make sure your back is flat and see how I'm hinging slightly. My butt is poking to the back wall. Out, out. The beauty about the band is you can choose your tension. So if this is too tight, then just creep out a little bit on that band and make it a bit looser. But I want you to keep tension on the band the entire time. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go forward and back, still opening in the center like an X shape and up and up with the arms. Up and up. On a diagonal, 
pushing and pulling at the same time. Stay low. You're always coming back to the center and then out, in, out. Out, in, out. Keep pushing. Arms are strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And finally, just bring your legs up and bring your arms down. So try to keep your arms pretty straight here, just with a micro bend in the elbows and bring your legs out to the side, twisting through the waistline, bending side to side. Keep going. The higher you bring the leg, the more you're gonna feel this in your obliques, that muffin top area. Trying to get your whole body involved. Lean into it. Long legs. Bounce high if you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go back to the jacks, pulling up and down, up and down, up and down. Four, three, two, one. Now doubles and down. Doubles and down, pull out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now X jumps, forward and forward for three, for four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now these wacky jacks, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, back to the start, up and down, adjust your tension, three, four, sing low, five, six, seven, and eight, go to doubles, out and in, for two, for three, for four, weight is in the heels, five, six, seven, eight, X jumps diagonal, two, open your legs, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and out to the side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one more time, up and down, up and down, three, four, five, Six, bend low, seven, eight. Now doubles up and down, two, three, pull out, four, shoulders should be burning, five, six, seven, and eight. X jumps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And last thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome job. Just bring it down a little bit. Catch your breath. And we're gonna start doing some arm exercises. So roll your shoulders, deep breaths in here, and then come down. Now what we're gonna do is hook 
our band through our trampoline, okay? So that we've got two ends that are equal length here. And we're gonna do some arm exercises. Now, if this is too short for you, then you can come into a kneeling position or you can even stand and just put your foot on one end and do one arm at a time. I'm going to do some of the exercises like this and then I'm gonna do some standing on the band. So what I want you to do is hinge forward, belly button in, come and choke up so that your arms are straight in front of you and we're just gonna row to the side and down and then row in and down. So elbows out and elbows in. Bend through the legs, make sure your weight is in the heels, pull up, squeezing your shoulder blades together. You've got a flat back here. Okay, so really make sure that you've got your belly button pulled in, keeping that back flat, and row your elbows past your back. So all the way up. It's out to the chest and in. Out and in. So it really depends on how strong your band is as to how much you want to choke up. But your back is large muscle groups, so you really want to make sure that you are choking up and you're feeling every single repetition. There should be a nice burn happening in your upper back. Make sure you sink in your legs, activate your glutes, hold everything in. A few more like this. Eight, and in. Seven, and in. Six, all the way up. Five, and in. Four, up. Three, squeeze those shoulder blades. Two, and last, one. Okay, so now we're going to do single arms and we're going to go a little bit faster. So make sure you're choked up and it's up and up. Up and up. Up and up. Up and up. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeezing. Making sure you're really feeling this. This is the last little burnout before we move on to a different muscle group. So you want to feel this. Up and up. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna do these ones where your arms are closed. Make sure there's always tension on the other arm, otherwise your band is gonna slip, okay? So it's in and in, in and in. Sink lower in your legs, in and in. Tummies are in, hinging at the waist, in and in. Come on, burn it out. Push your shoulders down and back, in and in. Keep going. A few more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, felt that. Okay, we're doing biceps. So depending on how heavy your band is, I want you to hold it so that you've got the band poking out at the top of your hands. And we're gonna start going up and down up and down. So this is a hammer curl. I want you to keep your arms in by your waist and pull up and make sure you're focusing on the way up and releasing slowly down, okay? You don't just let your arms drop. If this is too tight for you, you can either come down in a squat or you can even kneel and come up like this, okay? But that means you're really going to have to choke up, up up. I'm going to stay up here because mine's actually just the right tension. I've got a light bend in my knees and I'm bringing my fists up to my shoulders. Really feeling that burn in the biceps. Up and up. Up and up. Keep going. Up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out for a bit and we're going to do those faster ones, single punches, okay? So it's one, two. 
So make sure your band's got a lot of tension, otherwise it will slip side to side. Hands are in and it's up, 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 up. You're only coming down to approximately your waist and then you're coming back up. And this is killer, killer, killer. I'm gonna bend down lower because the lower you bend, the less you feel it. Ah, oh, it's like drumming, but going the opposite way with the tension. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Out. Okay, pull your band out. And what I want you to do now is step on your band. If your band is new, it's going to have all this white stuff all over it like mine. So don't mind me getting all white and dusty. Stand on your band and we're going to do biceps curls out to the side. So your opposite leg is on the band and you're making sure you've got enough tension that when you bring your elbow into your waist and you pull up to your shoulder on an angle, you really feel that. And then just come up. Just come up. So we're starting off with these ones. Make sure you've got a really nice uh, stance on that band, otherwise it will pull out, especially because the trampoline is a slightly slippery surface. Up. So now we're working the bicep muscle in a slightly different way because we're out to the side. Pull it up, release down slowly. Remember, we want to keep that tension up and up. All the way. Breathe out on the up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to combine this. So you might need to loosen your band slightly because what we're going to do is come up and then press up, come back down and down. So it's side up, push up overhead. And what I'm doing is I'm twisting my hand to the front and I'm slightly pushing my hand in front on an angle. So it's angled up, push in front up and down. Push your shoulder down in opposition and really try to push. Pull up and push and focus down. Pull up and push. Feeling that big time. Push. Keep breathing. Push. Lots of shoulder work with this band. And down. Up and push. And down. Up and push. And down. Go for six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Now what I want you to do is stand on the band with the other foot, but we're not done with this one hand yet, so make sure you anchor it. And we're gonna go across the body to the opposite shoulder. So make sure you're choking up. Make sure you've got a nice stance and across and down. So choke up if you need to, across and down across and down, squeeze the bicep, hold for a split second, touch all the way across and down, across and release, across and release, really feeling that, squeeze and down, squeeze and down. We're going to add on to this, so go for five, four, Three, two, and one. Now from here, I want you to pull out and then up, and then out and then up. So elbow to ceiling and then across. Elbow to ceiling and then across. You might need to loosen up a little bit. I know that the way you're holding this band, like with it poking out off the top of your fist. It might feel a little bit funny as you're going this way because your hand is pushing against the band, but that's actually creating more resistance. So we want that up. So it's up and it's up. This is tricep squeeze the back of the arm, bicep front of the arm. Opposing muscle groups, all in one exercise. Keep your arm up, elbow up high at shoulder height. 
Let's go for six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, so now we're going to step on it this way and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Starting with our elbow into our waist, holding it like a fist and then bringing it up. So you gauge your tension again. Is this enough tension? You want it to be super, super tight. You want to make it even. This arm just rested while your other arm was working, okay? So you actually need to choke up more to make this even. So I'm going to choke up more. And I'm squeezing up, releasing down. Squeeze up, release down. Keeping my upper arm pinned against my rib cage, not moving much. Squeeze up, release down. Keep going. We're going to add those shoulder raises soon, but I really want to burn this out first. Breathe. In. Come on. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now we're going to come up. You might need to loosen it a bit. Push overhead on an angle and come back down. It's up. Push slightly in front. Back down. See how I'm twisting my hand? I'm doing like a Superman hand. Superman in front. Push your shoulder down in opposition. Don't hunch that shoulder as you're pushing your arm out. Make sure you've got tension on that band, but you want to make sure you've got enough to fully extend your arm here, okay? So if you need to loosen it up a bit, I understand that. Especially if your band is new like mine. It's super tight. Up and push. In, control down. Up and push. In, control down. Keep going. And down. Up and push. In and down. Squeeze it. Keep breathing. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one. Okay, now step on the other side and we're going to do those across the body ones. So it's going to go across and back down. So choke it up, across to the other shoulder and down. All the way up and down. All the way up and down. Up and down. There should be enough tension on that band that even when you bring your hand down, there's no slack. It's still under tension. Up and down. Squeeze the bicep. Actually touch your shoulder with your fist. <sighs> Blow out as you come across. Up and down. Up and down. Come on. You know what's coming up, so give me all you've got. This last combination with the tricep is the last one, then we're going back to cardio. So go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now you're coming up, you might need to loosen a bit and you're gonna go across and then back up, across, and then back up. So elbow to ceiling and then across. Squeeze the back of your arm there and your bicep there. Across and across. Out to the side and across. Oh, try to straighten your arm as much as you can. There'll be a micro bend in the top there, but that's fine. And keep your arm up at shoulder height. Don't let it drop and up. You can choose your tension with these bands. If it gets too much, just loosen it up. There's no shame in that. I just want you to do proper form and get as many reps done as possible. If you need a break, take a break. Up and across. Six, 
up, five, all the way up, four, and up, three, and up, two, and up, and last one, and up. Awesome job. We're going to pick up our band and we're going to put it behind us. And then we're going to hold on to the ends and we're going to do cardio like this. Okay, so just start prancing in place. You're going to have to gauge the tension as we go. So just come up and down with the arms. So you always want some tension, but you don't want it to be super hard because this is the cardio segment, not the sculpting segment. But you always want to have a little bit of tension there. So side to side, using the full width of your rebounder. Arms are diagonally in front, pushing and pulling. Push. Come on. Got to get the heart rate up again. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now start crossing, alternating legs. Arms are at shoulder height, across, across. Sink lower, cross those legs. Across. You can have your feet turned out here and I want your tummy in, sink into those legs and think down and down, down and down. Come on, down and down. Really try to open your arms all the way to the side, feeling your chest stretching. This is like a chest fly, down and down, tummy's in. Keep going. Cross. Breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now up and down with the arms, and we're just going to split our legs up and down. You're going to have to find a way of doing this that the band doesn't kind of travel up and down your back too much. So you've got to anchor it somehow. Up and down. Keeping tension on it will help. Now once you have this, I want you to bend your legs and really push, push. Think of pushing into the rebounder. Up and down. Up and down. Push, push. Arms are up and down. Arms are pretty much straight, just with a micro bend. Up and down. Bend those legs. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now coming to the center, and we're going to jump forward and back, and we're going to cross your arms in front. Push, push, push. Punch it in front. Punch, punch, punch. So you're crossing in front, and you're bringing your elbows back. You're not opening out all the way to the side like we did before. Punch, punch, punch. You're jumping forward out, back in. Punch, punch, get low. Sink into your legs. Punch, punch. Come on. You can do this. The higher you jump, the more you push into the rebounder, the more you'll feel this in your legs. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now one high knees and just one arm is going to be doing a speed bag. Up and up, up and up. Bring those knees up. Up and up, up and up. Just push, push. It's pulling and pushing with that arm. Eight, seven, knees high. Five, four, tension on the other arm. Three, two, and one. Other side, circle it. The other one is constantly under tension. No slack. Up and up. 
up and up. Lots of easy moves that you've seen before. Just getting the heart rate up. Nothing hard here. Easy to follow. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Bring the band in front and we're gonna do some squat jumps. So it's gonna be down, up, down. So first of all, just come up on your toes. Down, up, down. Okay, so this is preparing you for the more dynamic ones in a second. Down. So you're just coming on your toes. No super jumping yet. Six. Five. Always slow counts. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now if you can, down and up. Down and up. Up. Up with the arms, pull out at the top. Up. Land softly, glutes towards the back, hinge at the waist. Up, 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 up. Eight, seven, six, pull out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bounce in the middle. Okay, we're gonna add some, some normal little jumps in with some knee ups. Arms are up. We're gonna jump, 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 jump up. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four. If you wanna keep it low, just do five. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, come on. Up, get your knees up, up, all the way up. If you just want to do one, you can do this. Two, three, four, knee. One, two, three, four, knee. One, two, three, four, up. Let's do five. Up, three, two, one. Prance it side to side. Push down and down. Down and down. Make sure you choke up. And we're gonna come forward, forward. Punching, turning your body on an angle. Punch, punch. Forward, forward. Punch, punch. Try to sink low. Twist through the waist. Forward, forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna stay on one side and double time. Stay on one side in the split stance. Double time punch, 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 punch. Punch it out, chest tight. Burn out those shoulders. Bring your knees up if you want to. Up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch it to the other side and punch, punch, punch. Tension on the band. Punch. Stay low in your legs. Punch, punch. Come up higher if you want. Keep going, keep your arm up, over, over, come on. Use your entire width of the rebounder. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, come back into the center. Deep breath in, we're gonna let the heart rate down and we're gonna do some legs to finish. Okay, heart rate down, nice job. Now what I want you to do is tie 
the band to your rebounder. You need to do this in such a way that it's not going to come off and flick you in the head, okay? So make sure I'm using a slip knot. If you don't know what that is, Google it. Make sure it's nice and tight and test it so it doesn't come out. We're going to be stepping off the rebounder. So make sure you've got room behind it. And we're going to start with the band in this hand, with this leg on and this leg off. Your foot is in the middle of the rebounder. And we're going to come, first of all, in and down. In and down. So just row your elbow in as you step down at the back. I want you hinged forward and your belly button's in, your back is flat, weight is in the heel of this supporting leg. In and down, in and down. We're gonna start picking up the back leg in like a glute raise, okay? In and down for five. This leg is always bent, four. Row it back, three, two, one. Now it's gonna be straight arm. I'll turn on an angle, straight arm. Straight arm, straight leg. Straight arm, straight leg. So it's back, back. Make sure your arm is in close to your body, back. You're raising your straight arm and straight leg, back. I know this is a balance challenge, so if it's too much, get a chair and put it here. I'm trying to challenge our balance all the time because that's how we build nice, balanced, strong, flexible bodies. Up, up, come on, squeeze it. Squeeze your glute as you raise that leg. Squeeze your tricep as you raise that arm. Go for six more, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Now if you want to, you can hold on to the bar. I'll turn sideways. Keep your arm up and lift. If that's too much, come down on your knee. Keep your leg back and raise that way. Okay, you choose an option. I'm gonna try and stay up here. Raise my leg, raise my arm and go. Little pulses up, little pulses up. Hold your tummy in, back is flat. Squeeze the back of the arm and the glute. Pulse, pulse, squeeze. Lots of work in the supporting leg too. Up and up, up and up. Eight, seven, six, keep it up there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, oh, did you feel that one? We're moving on to the other side. So come back into the center and we're going to choke up on that and we're gonna do the row back. We're gonna row in and step back, in and step back. So once again, choose your tension so that you feel this in your upper back and shoulder and row your elbow way behind your back. Keep your tummy in, chest is forward, weight is in the heel of the supporting leg and you're just stepping up and back. Really trying to feel the glute working on the supporting leg. In. In, squeeze, come on. Try really hard to hold your tummy in and don't round your back. Let's go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to float the leg, so you need to loosen your band and we're gonna keep our arms straight and bring our arm up and our leg up at the same time. It's gonna be tough.
So find the center, weight is in the heel, tummy's in and is one. Up. You're squeezing your glute and you're squeezing your tricep muscle. You can put your hand on something, a chair, or you can keep it out to the side to help you balance. Try to keep your arms straight just with a micro bend and push up from the side, push up, push up. This leg is always bent. There is absolutely no straightening of that leg. You're putting all the weight into the heel, keeping your arm close by your side. Moving around is not helping, helping my cause at all. It's up. The more you come forward, the more you're actually gonna balance. Up. Kick up at the back. Point the toe. Don't worry if you're wobbling everywhere like me. It's a good thing. Up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Now coming into that bent over crouching position, hold on, and we're gonna bring our arm up and our leg up and pulse, pulse, pulse. Remember your options. You can come down into a kneeling position and just do this, okay, if you can't do it or hold on to maybe a chair and come up higher. But just try to do something. Pulse the back leg and arm, feeling that tricep and butt, and also feeling the glute of the supporting leg in a really amazing way. Pulse, 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 pulse. Eight, seven, Six, five, tummy's in, four, three, two, and one. Ah, did you feel that? Youch, major butt burn. Okay, take your band off. And we're gonna do some abs. So, I'm going to be nice to you. Sit cross-legged and just lean forward, stretch that glute. How good does that feel? Ah, oh, and other leg in front. Yes, okay, micro stretch. Now, double up your band. We're going to sit with our legs off, belly button in, blow all the air out, come into a C curve. We're going to start off with our hands in front and we're just gonna switch our legs and row down and down, down and down, row and row. Tapping our toes. The further you sit back, the more you're gonna feel this. Down and down. Figure eight with the arms and extend your leg fully, down and down. Holding your belly button in, really tight, pushing your chest forward, you're gonna feel your quads here as well. That's a bonus. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Now hook the band around your front foot. And we're gonna come down again and we're going to float the other leg. If you want to, you can put this hand on the trampoline as a support. We're going to switch our legs, so it's going to be in and out, in and out. You need to keep tension on this front band. So you're pushing away. See how my arms bend and I'm keeping it there? In and out, in and out. If you want to, bring your other hand in front and stay up, in and out. Come on, same C curve position. So you're really trying to work your upper abs at the same time as your lower abs. Push away, push away. 
you can do this. I believe in you. Out. If it's not working, come down on your elbow and you can do that, okay? That's another option. Or you can even lie all the way down and do it slightly higher. So there's major options for you. If you want to do it my way, hand in front. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other leg, hook it around, no time to lose. Hold it steady, your arm is anchored and you're gonna bring that leg in and out. Hand can be here, hand can be there, but don't hold on for dear life. Tummy's in, and if you want to, float your arm in and out. Push against the band. That's why we've got the band around the foot, right? Otherwise, there's no point. If you're just moving your arm like this, you may as well not have the band. So you're pushing against the band with that foot, in and out. It's legs, it's abs, it's arms, because you're holding onto that band. And remember your options, you can come down here. This is super easy in comparison. Or you can come up here and go down on one elbow. Or you can hold on. Or you can put your arm up and use all abs. Push against for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. We love it. Lower abs, both feet in the band. Now, come down. Both feet in the band. Lie down. You can put your hand behind your head if you want to. I'm just going to push out to engage my outer thighs. I'm going to hold on to that and I'm going to come down and I'm going to come up and I'm going to go front and I'm going to come up and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna co come up. If you want to hold on with one hand, as long as you can anchor that band, and up. It's center, it's up. Tilt to the front, tilt to the back, center, up, front, back, center, up, front, back, center, up. So the fact that we're on this trampoline is giving us a little bit range, more range of motion, especially for this one. But for these ones, you're probably not gonna find much difference than if you're on the floor. But the fact that you're lying on this trampoline with an unstable surface means that your core is really firing in the center here to keep you on it and from rolling off. Okay, so you're actually using your upper abs here as well. Let's do four more sets. It's front, it's back, it's like a windshield wiper and then it's just down up. Two more. Front, back, down up. This is the last one. Front, back, down and up. Okay, we got some Glutes, and then we're done. Glutes and outer thighs. Our favorite, hook it back around the first leg. Come into a all fours position. Now, it's around your sole there and you need to really hold onto that band, otherwise it will come out. You might even wanna hold onto the side of your rebounder if you want, and we're just gonna push back and in. So, because the band is kind of in an awkward position, we're going to keep our leg turned out, okay, knee out and in, with our knee slightly turned out. That's going to give us a better range of motion, and it's squeezing up, turned out. This is outer thigh and glutes. It's out and up. It's out and up. Are you feeling obliques here as well? That's a bonus. It's out and up, squeeze your butt. Squeeze, squeeze, out and up, out and up. Come on, doubling this band is super difficult. If you can't do this, then just make a loop in the end of one of the sides and loop it around your foot, okay? And hold on to the other end. Or you can even do this exercise without a band. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now one last little thing we, before we move on to the other side. Keep it turned out. See how my band is on the outside? And just pulse. Pulse. On an angle. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse. Push against that band. Burning. Burning, burning. Last exercise on this side. Burning, burning. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Mmm, yes, that burnt bad. Ah, put it around the other foot. And we're going to the other side. So, all fours position. Anchor it wherever you need to. Your knee is going to be turned out and it's going to be up and out and up, out and up. So my leg is probably at about 30 to 40 degrees. So it's not directly down. It's not directly to the side. It's kind of in between, whatever degrees that is. And you're pushing against the band, trying to extend fully, and you're pulling up as well. So it's out and up, out and up. And you're feeling your obliques in a big way too. Ah yes, this is good. This is really working the whole body because my arms are feeling this as well. Go for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Tinsy little break. Last exercise for this toning. We're going to keep it anchored and we're going to bring our leg up with our band on our thigh and we're just going to pulse it. Pulse it up high. Find a place on your rebounder that isn't excruciating and just go, pulse. And if you're not feeling any of this and you're thinking, what is she going on about? Clearly this doesn't even hurt. Then you need a, a stronger tension band because with this band, it really burns a lot. You can also wear ankle weights if you're super hardcore. You don't have to outgrow this workout. Just pulse. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now because we have a lot of lactic acid happening in our butt and legs, I'm going to put down my band and I'm going to help you to get rid of it with just a few cardio exercises. Hold on to your rebounder. Start bringing your heels to your butt. Make sure that your weight is balanced because you do not want to topple your rebounder depending on how heavy it is. Kick up, 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 up. If you don't want to do this, you can do this standing, okay? But just kick your butt for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Now forward and up, forward and up. This is kind of like an Asian squat type thick situation where you're coming really low. But if you can't do that, just go like this, okay? If you can, I want you to come low because it's actually a stretch at the same time, back and front, back and front, it's like a frog, back and front, six, 
five, four, it burns, three, two, and one, stand up. Ha, huh. knees up, last little bit. We just want to get the blood pumping again. Up and up, up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and side to side pushing down. Finishing like we started. Push it, push it. We don't have to bend now, so you're gonna to have to use your arms. Push down, 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 down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and front and back, front and back. Arms sweeping, tummy in, knees are bent. Come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and twist it. Because we love to twist it. Come on, arms are wide. Twist it good. Feet together. Out and out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we can't leave out our jacks. Cross it, arms and legs. Now get low. Push into the rebounder. Wide and low. Sink your glutes down. Last little bit. Come on. Keep going. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And that is it. Let your heart rate down. Breathe in and up. Out and down. In and up. Out and down. Roll through your arms. Settle your feet. Keep rolling through your arms. Roll the other way. Come on, we're letting everything down now. Heart rate down. Now swing through the body. Swing, come up on your toe. Loosening everything up and down and down. It's like a figure eight and down. Lift your heels. Sweeping through the waist, sweeping through the arms. Feels good. And down. Three, two, one. Nice job. Now we're going to grab our band to do some stretching. So sit down and just hold on to your band and bring your hands up overhead and stretch back and out. Ah, that feels really good. And slightly to the side and slightly to the other side and then come forward and push in front center push the other side and then just sweep center side center side over and over and then bring the band behind you choke up on that and then pull out and up you might want to turn your hands out as well. Out and up, feeling your shoulders stretching. Bicep stretch, stretching as well. And then just bring one arm in by your ear and then pull down. So you're pulling down and bringing your arm down your back, your hand down your back, stretching your tricep. 
and then switch the arm. So bend the other one, pull down, and just bring that elbow right by your head. Now bring that band around one foot and we're going to come down and just stretch that. So you can hold it in the opposite hand if you like and just choke up on that and we're stretching our hamstring. So bring it in close and then hold on and pull away a little bit. So it's to the back, stretching out your inner thigh and then just hold on and bring your heel to your glute, stretching out the front of thigh. And then we're gonna switch that other foot, come down on your side, bring that in if you wanna anchor it and then pull harder on this side. It's just bringing your hamstring in as close as you can Pulling that, keep your legs super straight. You can point and flex if you want. And then anchor yourself so you don't get pulled to the back and open that out. And then just bring that glute, heel to the glute. Push your thigh backwards here. Nice job, lose the band. Come into that cross-legged position that we did earlier and just lean forward. Ah, that feels good on that glute. Other leg in front, lean forward. And just kneel on your trampoline and all the air out and come down, release through the back. And again, push through your shoulder blades and down. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for my Bounce Total Body Cardio Band Workout. I hope you felt that burn with the band and I'll see you at the next segment.